Okay guys, the first thing we have to do is we have to cast on. Now pick up the end of your yarn. And the first thing that you're gonna do, we're gonna learn, this is called the backwards loop cast on. This is the easiest one to do. Casting on means getting these stitches on your needles before you can begin knitting. So you can't actually knit anything unless you have a bunch of stitches that looks like loops on your needles. So the first part of casting on, you are not actually holding your needles. So nobody pick up your needles. Step two, pick up your yarn and have about six to 12 inches of a tail. A tail means the long strand of yarn on the end that you're not actually using. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make a slip knot, which is the beginning of our easy backward loop cast on. And Jesse is actually gonna show us how to do it. Okay, so first you're gonna put the yarn through your thumb and your pointer finger, and you're gonna leave a lot of space out here. A tail, leave a long tail. And then you wrap it around your hand, and then you cross it over what you already made. Then you grab, you put your finger through the loop that you just made, and then you pull the end of the yarn that's not being used back through. And then you pull it off of your hand. And here is your slip knot. Pull it tight. There you go. And then we're gonna make it smaller and put that loop on your needle. But first, we're gonna show you that again, close up. Okay, so first you're going to grab your string or your, your yarn. yarn and leave a long tail for it. Then you're gonna wrap it around your finger or around your hand and then you cross it over the other yarn. Then you put your pointer finger through and you pull this up and out. Then you can take it off your hand and pull it tight by pulling the tail. All right, Jesse's just showing you how to make a slip knot if you've never done one of those before. So the next step is actually placing that slip knot onto your needles and then getting your cast on going. So we're just gonna pick up our loop. I'm gonna pick one end of the circular needle and it doesn't matter which end at all. And you're gonna insert into the loop. Then you can grab both ends of the yarn and you tighten it up so that your slip knot is not loosey-goosey and gonna fly all over the place while you're trying to cast on your stitches. So we don't wanna use this part while we're knitting and we don't wanna use this part while we're casting on for this particular cast on. So if it's too long, if it's, you know, much longer than this, you might wanna take a pair of scissors and trim it a little bit. You don't wanna trim it way up here because then your knot might come, a, come apart completely and you also wouldn't have enough end to be weaving it into your finished project. So you wanna make sure that you leave probably three to six inches of tail. Now, the other side of the yarn is called the working yarn. The working yarn is the end of the yarn or the part of the yarn that's attached to the ball that you're working with. And that's the part that we're gonna use for this particular cast on. Make sure we've got our slip knot and the needle in the right hand. Next, we're gonna grab the working yarn with our fingers, just like that. Nothing complicated about that. We just wanna be able to have the yarn nice and secure for this next step. So now you're gonna decide if you're gonna give your project a thumbs up or thumbs down. And what do you think? It's definitely gonna be a thumbs up. So you're gonna Put your left hand out in front of you and make sure that that thumb is on top of your working yarn. And then you're going to scoop your yarn up and give it a thumbs up. So we're grabbing the yarn, putting our hand out, making sure that our thumb is on top of the yarn, and we're gonna to decide to give it a thumbs up. So it doesn't really matter how much space there is in between your needle and your thumb because we can tighten up our knot every time we make it. So now that we've given our project a thumbs up, we need to actually place this loop that we've created onto our right hand needle with our slip stitch. So in order to do that, we're going to have this needle follow the line of your thumb. So we're going to scoop from the bottom of the loop upward, just like our thumb is. So we're gonna place our needle down here. Don't stab yourself too hard, but it's okay if it's touching your thumb and you're going in 
to your stitch by following your thumb. So during this part of the step, you should see your needle and your thumb side by side with the tips of them going in the same direction. Once you're here, make sure that you don't let go of your working yarn because you're gonna need that to keep everything secure. But this is where you're going to just gently and carefully remove your thumb. And when you're still holding that yarn, you can pull it nice and snug on your needle. So now I've got two stitches on my needle. I've just cast on one. So the slip, slip knot will become your first stitch and then your second stitch and all the others we're going to cast on. So let's do that again. We're gonna put our left hand out and decide whether we're gonna give a thumbs up to our project. And of course we are, so thumbs up. Then we're gonna take our right hand needle and we're going to go in to our loop from the bottom following our thumb. So we're gonna go in just like this. Make sure the loop is on your needle. And once it's on your needle, we're gonna slide out our thumb and we're gonna make sure not to let go of the working yarn. Now, if you have to take a break and relax your hand every few stitches, that's totally fine. Do it one more time, a little bit speedier. Thumbs out, thumbs up, and follow your thumb. You can also choose to begin without grabbing the yarn in your left hand if you're having a hard time doing both of those things at once. If you're gonna do it that way, thumbs out. You're still gonna scoop in the same direction. And once you've made your loop, then you just have to figure out how to grab it with your hand. I'd like you to get 20 stitches cast onto your needle so that we can have plenty of stitches to knit with in each row once we get going. So go ahead and pause the video, watch the steps as many times as you need, and count till you have a total of 20 stitches on your needle. That means your slip knot is the first stitch, and then you're gonna cast on 19 total other stitches. Okay, can you try the scooping part this time? There you go. Eight. Perfect, perfect. Scoop. I know it's a little tricky and you'll get used to it, but you're doing a great job. Okay. Ten. Ooh. Perfect. Scoop from the top. Remember, every single time. There you go. Grab that one. Grab this one. So when you grab it, it's, a, it's a little tricky, but you gotta practice. Through. Yeah. Yay! Okay, let's go again. I'm up 12 and I'm in 6. How are you doing? <laughs> Redo this. No. Yes. <laughs> So, pick up your needle, give it a hug, Does it matter, like, give it a hug. Okay, now put it back down. Put your hands up like that. Jesse. <laughs> we can edit it out, it's okay. Okay, the hand of yours that's on the <laughs> inside of the yarn. Oh my gosh. Stop talking. Regroup. Stop. No. <laughs> I think I'm okay now. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's tangled. It's not tangled. Are. It's not tangled. What? Oh, we're making I a slip it. knot. This is a slip knot. You could have just told me to tie a slip knot. I already know how to tie it. Well, I'm going to get my feet down. You're kicking me. From the back side, come over top of your yarn and put your thumb in between it. So your yarn looks like this. On there, you just pull out your thumb and you tighten your loop. Does it need to go like past this thing or in front like of it? Like this? So like that? Okay. Like this, right? Yes, Charlie's perfect. Well, I'm trying yes. to ask you where it goes. 